You're all set. Thank you very much. So let's call this programming committee meeting to order on this Tuesday, January 25th, um, 837. So Rick, uh, no, let me back up. So did everyone, did you send out the minutes, Rick, by chance? So I can make sure everybody got a chance to read and look at the minutes. Yes, I did. Yes, I yes. did. Thank you very much. And if oh, by chance, welcome. okay, so are there any, anybody need any corrections or any additions or adjustments that need to be made? If none, then the minutes will stand approved. Uh, Rick, you want to kind of jump in and let's go ahead and kind of get caught up on this meeting and what's top of agenda and we'll kind of move from the agenda. You're on mute, Rick. Hello. Sorry. Can you, oh, can okay. All right. Yes, yes, we yeah. can. Yeah, forgive me. So you switch switching um, back and forth from your laptop to your, your phone, I guess. Huh? My phone, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Technology. Okay. I got it. Okay. So um, go right ahead. Sure. Want to look at um, minutes from yep. December twenty eighth. Right, the minutes have already been approved. Okay. Okay. Super. Yes. Yes. All right. So we, we let's let's go to the top of the agenda. Let's go. All right. Let's begin uh, um, with items we're looking at. Hold on one second, sorry. Okay. Let's begin with the control room booth renovations. Okay. We did get um, a third quote and um, you got them detailed and um, I'm happy that we, you know, got you know, three quotes and a fourth one came in late last night. Mm -hmm. And as we did, you know, I, right now I'm gonna turn it over to Phyllis to go over the prices of the quotes. Good morning, oh. everyone. Um, as Rick said, we do have four quotes now, one ranging from about 500 to one ranging to 2000. Uh, two hundred thousand. Um, you said two hundred thousand or two thousand. Two hundred thousand, sir. Okay. I apologize. Two hundred thousand. Okay. One is one. The top one is uh. Well, the we have one. We have them ranging from five hundred thousand to two hundred thousand. Okay. Okay. Um, gotcha. Okay. We presented you with um, two last meeting. Um, those were the initial ones we um, presented to you, and both of those were in the range of four. Um, the 2000 is not uh, the full scope of work. Um, it wasn't, it was not an itemized quote. Um, so um, it may not be one that we can consider because it is not an itemized quote. Um, Were they given all the details though as to offering uh, a bid amount or? Yeah, that was the 200,000 one. They offered a bid amount. They believe that they can do the work in that price range. Um, but as, as we've seen in previous ones, I don't want to be in a position where you give me uh, 200,000 and we're gonna be adding on additional money along the way. And uh, I'd rather have, you know, um, something that is giving me itemized details with a price. It, it wasn't itemized at all. And uh, it does not cover the full scope of work, sir. I will, um, I will email everyone all the documentation, the quotes. Um, we also wanted to share, um, we had one quote that also included uh, creating a set for us. Um, am I able to share the screen, Rick? Um, 
you know, Lisa, you may not be. Okay, I'll email them to. Uh, I need to email them to Lisa, or we can we can send you all of the documentations, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, on anyone on the board of uh, the the proposals that we received and uh, some some work that uh, is Air Air Matrice has done set wise. Okay, so so let me ask just one quick question. So Fred, have you had a chance to kind of look over anything yet or does, does Fred have any of this? Yes, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, I do. Uh, we met as a, uh, with the uh, communications department on yesterday and kind of okay. talked through uh, the recommendation. Um, three of them had some, um, they were uh, uh, itemized out uh, the way that we'd like them. The, the fourth that, uh, <clears throat> Uh, that Phyllis is referring to. I had not got it this morning, so <clears throat> hadn't had a chance to uh, to really comb through this one like I did the others. Uh, but uh, from what I saw, uh, Columbus tape and video <clears throat> was right around uh, 388, uh, uh, 388, 115, armor around 400,000. Uh, in the fourth uh, third, Marco, um, I think, uh, Bartow was around uh, that 400,000 as well. Uh, all of them, uh, the three that I just mentioned, are all uh, itemized out. They uh, let you know exactly what uh, what they're going to provide. Um, and uh, I really wanted uh, Phyllis to be able to uh, show you some of the uh, 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 proposed set designs that uh, that they were that they provided for us, just to give us an idea. Sorry, can you repeat that, Mr. Perry? You broke up a little bit. Sarah, can we can we make Phyllis a host? Yeah, give me yeah. one moment. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Let's make her host so she can share. Uh, she can share the screen. And Phyllis, one thing that I wanted uh, you to talk about is a potential uh, recommendation before we get off. After you uh, show the concepts uh, we've talked about on yesterday, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, a possible uh, recommendation, uh, as well as you asked if there was any uh, any software that uh, would be included in. Right. Sorry, Mr. Perry, to minute interrupt you. Phyllis, you should be able to share your screen uh, without me making you the host. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email them to you right quick because I think you could probably do it a little bit quicker than me. So okay. let me just email you the, hold on a second. Okay. And Fred, while she's doing that, so I guess what we're about to, to attempt to try to see it are the, the three that you guys think are, are the better fit for this based on the pricing and everything else, but is the set including in, in all of these and software and or, or is it kind of a combination of, of all of that or not? It's a combination, uh, Commissioner Mitchell. And, um, you know, we are, we were flirting around with a, a full recommendation on yesterday. We are falling just short of having a full recommendation for you. Um, it seems as though the quotes that we've received, each organization provides something uh, a little different from the right. other. Mm -hmm. uh, Phyllis, you correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so uh, we, we, we just need maybe a couple more days to finalize this thing, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, and have uh, the and Fred, I don't know what's happening with your mic, but we we having some difficulties hearing you. You're kind of in and out for some strange reason. Try that once again. Can you all hear me now? Yes, 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 we can. Okay. Sorry about that. So, yeah, Mr. Mitchell, uh, and I was saying that uh, we um, uh, uh, in it in their entirety, uh, you know, I've been able to see that some of them offer a little bit more than others, but I don't think either of the three offer fully what uh, we're we're looking for. 
um, there are combinations that we can come up with that uh, that would cover everything that we need. So I think that from the uh, the quotes that we have, we can cover everything that we need. And uh, if you could give us uh, maybe a couple of more days and uh, Rick and Phyllis and I can go comb through this last quote that we received and see, um, because he just sent us an email. I don't think he sent us an invoice or anything that reflects exactly what, uh, what, uh, what, what he entailed. Again, that fourth one was not itemized. So I wanna be able to, uh, to, to, to look at that a little bit more closely before we finalize a recommendation to the committee. I know so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, Commissioner Marshall. No, so I wanted to follow up uh, with what Fred was saying too, um, in asking for a couple more days because uh, we really wanted to uh, get some references as well um, to you know uh, which um, government channels um, have used some of them uh, to get an idea of you know how the renovations were completed, the processes that were going on and how, you know, their equipment is working as well. So that would, would help if you had a couple more days. We just didn't get a chance to um, get, you know, references in particular. And I don't have a problem with my, I don't think this board or, or myself have a problem with waiting and make sure we get it right. So mm -hmm. I think if you need more time to, to, to comb through what you guys got and you think these are possibilities or not, we can toss them out and we try it again. So, but we definitely want to get it right though. So, and if the time is what you guys need, I don't have a problem with this. And I, I'm assuming this board probably don't either, you know, to make sure we get it right though. So. And, and Commissioner Mitchell, uh, if, I, if I might add, uh, I, I do think what we have here is, will suffice. I don't think we're at a point where we have to throw, throw everything out and start all over again. I definitely don't think we need to do that. I think we have uh, either a combination of, of, of two or, uh, you know, one will be able to, uh, to, to fully give us what we need. We'll just have to add on uh, a couple of items. But I think we have uh, the, the quotes that we have, I think, are sufficient. So, so let's, let's, just, let's just do that. I mean, okay. I, don't know, I don't know if Phyllis is able to pull up what she was trying to do, though, but if she wanted to just send it off to all of us so we can kind of take a, an eyeball it while you guys are doing what you're doing and then come back maybe at our next meeting and be ready to kind of make a recommendation of some sort. I'm okay with that. Commissioner Mitchell, what we have on the screen there, okay. Phyllis, you could talk us through it. Uh, it's just a concept. Uh, it's very these, are, these are, this is just work that they've done before. Um, Amatrix in particular. Yeah. Yeah, Amatrex. This is the work that Amatrex has done before. Now, Amatrex is the um, proposal that we received with about uh, the $400,000 $400, amount, and it includes the, bit, the set build. So not only would they work on the booth and studio, they would also, the, their proposal also in, includes a set build. Can you show the other one, uh, Sierra? And this is just another example. Um, so uh, they 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 feel that we have a good space to build a nice set within. Um, that was his initial um, re response when he saw the studio that it is a great space and um, they could build something. Um, within that space that would be very nice. So those were just uh, a couple of examples that they were able to send with a couple of companies that they work for. Um, so that's what we have for that. And um, when um, I understand um, what Rick and Mr. Perry are saying is that there is a, another component that we, um, we were presented with this week that we want to consider adding, removing one component and adding this new component in. Um, so we're still trying to grasp everything about this particular uh, piece of equipment to see how it's going to fit in the, into the entire scope of things. Um, and like it has been mentioned, we do have three good 
um, proposals. Um, they're itemized. They show all the equipment that is needed. And um, we just, like, like I said, we want to take all three into consideration and make sure we know the full scope of work that they have done before. One quick question, Philly. So those two sets you just showed us, are those two different sets layout from two different companies or one company, both, lay, both layouts? That, that's, that's two different companies with two okay. separate layouts. Okay. And okay. Uh, of course they will customize our set to, uh, for, for our I understand. I understand. I understand. I, I was just curious to know whether or not it was just one showing, you know, one company showing both for one company, but I say it's for two different ones. But that's, that's, that's Oh, okay. no, no, no. It's one company. It's it's one of the proposals, but it's two different companies that they build sets for. They build sets for. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got any other, any other questions to add or, or, but I, I, I'm okay with that though. Let's, let's give you, give us all time to, to review it and, and Fred, let's make sure we follow the purchasing and, and the procedure, you know, make sure that we, you know, we did everything right by the books though. Hey, Commissioner Mitchell, I'm, I'm going to uh, task us. Uh, I'm going to set a hard deadline for us to have a solid recommendation to you by this, uh, I'll say Wednesday of next week. Uh, we have the information that we need. We just need to sit down and go through it uh, line by line. They say they are. Um, and also um, uh, make sure that, uh, that everything that they have in their itemized list is exactly what we need. So uh, you asked about this last meeting. Uh, we need to set a hard deadline to have a recommendation to you by next week. So next Wednesday, you know, uh, and I guess we'll, we'll, Rick, between all of us and you, Fred, we'll, we'll schedule a meeting for the programming committee to somewhere thereafter to kind of revisit this and, and, and talk it through and make sure that the recommendation to the full board will be what we all can support. Sounds good. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Good. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, Rick, go right ahead. All right, next item. Uh, want to provide a, a update on new communications department equipment because um, we've gotten um, a, a boatload of equipment in, um, you know, that will allow us to uh, stream Facebook uh, out in the field and, uh, you know, as we prepare for uh, Commissioner Robinson's event Thursday night, um, definitely. Um, you know, I know Ryan um, and Sierra have, have, you know, been using the equipment and, you know, could have, uh, Ryan, if you want to add a little bit or Phyllis about, talk about the equipment, if you want to. Sure, um, you know, a few things we got going. in were, Couple of new cameras. Uh, you, myself, and Sierra used that to shoot Commissioner Carthen's district dialogue that I'm uh, finishing editing this week, and it'll air in February. And you know what was nice? We could go on location. She went to uh, four different places. It was aggressive, but I think it's going to be a good show for her, and it's what she wanted. So that was nice. Um, you mentioned Commissioner Robinson's event. Um, it'll, you know, we'll be using uh, some of the audio stuff from the Douglas Conference Center, but we're going to be using our cameras um, as well as the new switcher, little mobile switcher we got. Um, so, you know, getting this stuff out and using it what we wanted to. Uh, um, so excited about that. And, you know, there's still some some more pieces that need to come at some point. And a lot of that will probably depend on which quote we go with. Um, but, you know, we're, like I said, we're, we're putting it to good use. And I think once people see it in use, there'll be more ideas that people will have that we can use it for. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, anything else you want to add, fellas? Um, so, yeah, this was the plan, Commissioner Mitchell, to sustain us until we um, got everything that we needed as far as the proposals. Um, 
like Brian mentioned, we can still continue production um, type videos um, until, you know, that that's going to mesh with the uh, entire scope of the project. So um, phase one is what we're calling it of the um, equipment purchase. And then um, we talked yesterday so that we can move into phase two of the, the, uh, the purchase of equipment. Um, I don't know if you, Rick, or Mr. Perry want to handle the, the details about phase two of the equipment purchasing. Well, I, I can speak on that. The, the uh, Commissioner Mitchell, the, uh, the issue uh, with the um, uh, phase two of the equipment purchase was the funding of it. Um, I believe it was around 15, just for easy math, about 15, uh, 14 and some change, but uh, we'll say 15. And um, we, were, we were trying to, the, the, the actual request did not come in in time for uh, contingency funds for 2021. So we had to figure out where it was coming from for, uh, you know, what, what fund it was coming out of for 2022. Had an extensive conversation with, uh, with Rosalind and finance. She gave, gave us a couple of options. So uh, as of yesterday, we decided to uh, take those funds out of uh, ARPA funds that we have for uh, the, um, the control room booth renovations. So it's, it's not a large amount of money. Um, I believe that uh, we have about uh, $500,000 uh, in uh, ARPA funds that we can utilize for the control booth uh, renovations. And um, right now the quotes are coming in right around 400,000 or a little bit uh, above that. So we have a little wiggle room there that we take, uh, take those funds from. And we're gonna move forward with that purchase. We've already uh, instructed um, uh, um, Sherry Mathis to, uh, to move forward with that uh, requisition. So, uh, you know, depending upon how uh, quickly we can get that equipment in, um, uh, we're set and we're ready to go with that second phase. So if I'm hearing if I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, so we're we're where the where the monies are coming from, which is the upper funds, are we're good in that in that vein of we're not over budget. We still have some room to play with, even within a, in the additional equipment and or software to kind of complete this project. Am I correct in what I'm hearing? Well, you know the additional equipment and software, uh, uh, you know that's a question mark right now. But you know we'd have to base it off of what we have left after we uh, move forward with phase two. But I think we'll have ample amount of money, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, to, uh, to cover both. Good. I mean, that, that, that's, I think we're gonna try to do our best to stay within budget, if not under budget. So if, you say, if, you, if I'm hearing you correctly, that we are potentially under budget, then I think we're safe to say the funds are there. But if we're not, then we gotta look at another plan of some sort of a funding source to kind of complete the project to, to get it done right though. so that's, that's correct but uh, but I think you know I, I really believe uh, that from you know what we talked about and uh, you know the balance that we'll have after we, we move forward with phase two that we'll have enough to cover everything and, and one other quick question Rick so the um, district dialogue for for, I mean, we talked about this a while back, moving forward with the district dialogue and timing. So I heard that we're editing for Commissioner Carthen and are we ahead of the curve so that we are on time to say February 1, her district yes. dialogue is up and then we move to February to March that we're, we're putting together March now or yeah. a week. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I'll just, I'll just making sure that we're, we're ahead, not like we, you know, Correct. The past have been, you know, we are ahead. We've already communicated with the next commissioner scheduling um, with Commissioner Guider, who would come after uh, Commissioner Carthen. We are uh, ahead. Um, okay. Good, good. That, yeah. That's all. I, I just want to make sure that, you oh, know, yeah. that, yeah, that we're good. not going to start mid February trying to complete Commissioner Carthen when it should be airing as of February 1. So yes, we'll, we'll make that deadline, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, good enough. All right, go right ahead, guys. All is well. Yeah, so I, um, so the equipment was the second item in the last one on the agenda. Um, didn't know if you had any other questions or so, but uh, as far as for business and discussion, 
those two items were key uh, on the agenda. And, and, and that's, that's what the major focus is to get the equipment in and get the boost and everything done. But we got to make sure that we got all the proposals in, the dollars are there to, to cover uh, the expenses of either of each of any of the items and if we need more more funds we'll have to kind of have that conversation down the road but i think listening to mr perry that we should be uh in good shape yes sir absolutely okay um <laughs> yes if, if, if i might if i may just yeah go ahead, go ahead. Just yes on, yes just wanted to uh uh to make clear our uh deliverables for next week we're going to have a, uh, a recommendation for you by uh, close of business on Wednesday in regards to uh, uh, the booth renovations. And uh, we'll have an update for you uh, just to let you know where the phase two purchase of that equipment is, even though we're, we're, we're moving forward with that. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll update you on that. Also, one uh, other additional item we had talked, uh, you had talked about uh, for the IS staff as far as uh, help with uh, the communications department with streaming and things of that nature. You had made mention that uh, the IS department would have a dedicated staff member to assist uh, communications. Even though that uh, staff member has not been identified, um, uh, uh, Mr. Fieldings in that department has, has been um, the constant um, uh, assisting communications with uh, streaming and things of that nature. So. He's been working closely with Phyllis and Rick, and uh, we're not going to say that he's that identified person. Uh, I did reach out to Alex. Alex has said that uh, you know they are aware of it, and they will uh, provide us with a uh, a concrete person who has who has been assigned to the communication department, if you would. Uh, that person hasn't again hasn't been identified just yet, but uh, but Fieldings from IS has been uh, has been on site a number of times assisting IS with. Uh, streaming issues and things of that nature. So uh, we're moving forward in that regard as well. Quick question also, Mr. Uh, Perry. So um, how are we, if there's a need, maybe there isn't, uh, funding that particular person and or hours or, or is it just gonna be an IT person that comes and go or is it gonna be that dedicated only person that will work through programming so and we need to hire another individual. So have we kind of thought through that part of it? We haven't thought through that part yet. Uh, as it stands right now, Commissioner, it's just going to be an IS employee who will, uh, you know, help us uh, uh, periodically uh, from time yeah. to time when we, when we need assistance in, uh, in a certain area. That's what, that's what we've been, uh, we haven't thought about the idea of trying to hire an additional staff member. Gotcha, got it. And I just want to make sure, and I want to just say that out loud so we can make sure that we're all on the same page because, you know, I don't want to be anticipating if we needing dollars and cents to cover that individual hypothetically, and we need to kind of fund that, then we need to have that conversation as well. But if we're doing it the way you just stated, then I think we're fine. We're safe to say that we're good. Okay. Okay. Yes, I just want to make sure you, you, you. Uh, were informed about that. You mentioned it last meeting, so thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, all righty. Thank you, Mr. Perry. So with that being stated, I, I don't think there's anything else uh, uh, Rick, on the agenda. No, sir. No, no. Okay. Well, that Commissioner thing. Mitchell, Commissioner Mitchell, if I may say, there's nothing sure. further on the agenda, but we, and I believe I, I can speak on behalf of the entire team, we truly appreciate your support. We truly appreciate your patience through this process. And on the opposite end, we um, are going to work definitely. We're definitely going to work hard to make sure we're under budget and we um, get you a great product moving forward. Thank you, sir. And thank you guys for all the, your due diligence and all that you guys are doing because I know this is a, a very unique task and trying to pull off. You know who's going to do it, how much they're going to charge, and are they getting us what we need? not what they just want to give us based on our needs, what we're, what's important here. So I think you guys are doing a great job at it. That's why we need to be patient and make sure that you guys are, you know, getting all the information that you guys need. So when we do make this decision from this uh, committee, that when we make the recommendation to the full board, we kind of put our best foot forward. So that's all. So great job, though. Great job. Any, anything else? Anything else? Okay. 
in that vein. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I guess we'll Rick will kind of get together and try to schedule something up for maybe a week from now. Yeah. And and schedule another meeting so we can all come together and hopefully finalize kind of what the direction uh, or what the recommendation is going to be for the equipment, the booth, and everything else. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Sounds well, good. in that vein, thank thank you guys. I appreciate the, appreciate your time. We did pretty good. Not not long at all. Uh, you guys have the, a, a great Tuesday, and we'll catch up here soon. And we'll I guess send the invite out for the next meeting. And with that being said, this meeting stands adjourned. Thank you again.